Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from, I guess, Artisanal Brewing Ventures, which is actually a conglomerate of Six Point Victory and Southern Tier. So this is, I guess, Six Point Brewery's Cosmic Handshake. This is a sour New England style double IPA, 9%. And I'm actually not quite sure where it's brewed. It says brewed by Six Point Brewery, Brooklyn, New York. So I'm possibly brewed out of there. And again, they do have a contract facility. Then again, the, I actually have no clue now how big the Six Point Brewery was it used to be. I probably waited in line for a can release at six point. No, we went to hang out. No more lines. Oh yeah, yeah. We went to hang out. It was it was like a um hang out can release. It was so shoulder to shoulder though. I mean when we went there. It was busy. Oh yeah. It was but before, I mean like it was like years before COVID, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No no no. Yeah, this was obviously in New York. We haven't yeah. been in New York recently. Yeah. So this is a collaboration with Victory, so six point victory, uh nine percent, and it's um Sour, IPA. juicy, hazy IPA. So the beer comes in a very pale color. Uh, mm -hmm. Comes in a light straw, it's a light gold color, a nice yeah, lemonade. It's nice and pastel, um, lemon color, yeah. Has a kind of um, medium haze to a medium minus, right? There we go, lemon. And um, I actually reviewed the Victory Heavy Drop, which was their sour IPA. So very curious how this one turns out. <laughs> this one's very similar to that beer, actually. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually brewed out of Victory. It actually smells a little bit like Sour Monkey. Yeah, it does. Oh, weird. It's that like bright, kind of like um, lactic note that I get. I mean, yeah. I guess whatever lactic acidity, uh, lactic acid they use. Or... Almost has like a like an over exaggerated like like sour lemon candy type thing sure. going on. Sure. And I didn't mean lactic acid. Whatever lactic um, acid producing bacteria they use. Mm hmm. A little bit doughy a little bit of, like skunky funk from the kettle sour kind of beers. Yeah. So guava, very guava ish. Mm. Not very hoppy. And then actually, this beer was actually canned um, less than a month ago, about a month ago. May twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like early, early June still. It's so, like June eighth yeah. right now. So that's yeah. quite fresh uh, coming yeah. to this market. And I suspect this beer should have been juicier up here because mostly what I get is acidity. It's like lemon juice, really? tastes like guava. This is, this tastes juicy to me. It actually, you're right. I think I think you're right. I think it does have some hoppiness yeah, to it. Yeah, take another sip. Take a big gulp. Mm hmm Okay, so this is more like, okay, so this isn't like the the fluffy, like sweet yeah. orange, kamakwa, like overripe grapefruit. This is more like bitter grapefruit, lemon. A Little grapefruit, yeah. Juicy. Yellow grapefruit for days. Yeah. Um, and really, it, it the, the the quality of the beer, it's just so much of um, Sour Monkey. It's so Sour Monkey-ish. If you like Sour Monkey, you're going to love this I, beer. I almost feel like this is like a condensed Sour Monkey. Like this isn't, this isn't, I feel like the Sour Monkey wasn't quite as uh, thick and like, mm -hmm. and more, as flavorful as this. Yes. Sour Monkey was way more watery mm -hmm. compared to this, so. For sure. This is, uh, Sour Monkey is 9.5%. This is 9%. It is Sour Monkey very much. Tart, dry, refreshing. But there's that kind of like, a little bit of New England, kind of like a little bit of like softness and a little bit of fruitiness. Yeah. Just sitting in there. I still feel like it's stronger in flavor, even though it's 0.5% less alcohol. Yeah, I could see that. Because it just has a little bit more body to it. There's a little bit I more sweetness right, yeah. to it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it's it is. It's less crisp and snappy. It's thicker. It's a little, and it's not that much because really this is, I would argue, maybe like, um, uh, I'd say like 75% uh, Sour Monkey and then 25% like a hazy beer just left in there. Yeah. Or maybe even 85%. It's the hazy beer, or this uh, New England IP, uh, IPA qualities of this beer are, oh yeah, so zero. So I guess maybe this is actually... The barcode is cool. Yeah, it, it's uh, shown uh, off the uh, Statue of Liberty. But maybe this is actually brewed in Brooklyn. And it's actually pretty crazy because they really were purely able to replicate the um, lactic qualities of Sour Monkey. I imagine it's a similar recipe. Yeah. So the, to me, this is mostly 75 to 85% Sour Monkey with some light hazy beer in there. Because really for um, hazy IPA drinkers, I don't think you're going to really get what you're expecting. There's more for the Sour Monkey drinkers. Yeah. Uh, with this one, I definitely find, I think, more than the Sour Monkey. I almost get more of, like, the skin of citrus than I did yeah. in the Sour Monkey, also which get... I think kind of contributes to the, um, which which contributes to the, like, 
the thickness of the of the flavor compared to yeah. the sour monkey. What's your final impression rating? Final impression rating. This is a pretty good one. I don't mm-hmm. think I've really been disappointed by anything that comes out of six points. Some of them I like more than others. This is one of the ones that I actually enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think sour IPAs is kind of a new trend. Um, it seems like these days I'm seeing more and more of them. In fact, I just recently had my first one within like the last three months. I think had my first sour IPA. Never even knew that was a thing. Pretty awesome because I do like sours and I do like uh, IPAs. I love hazy IPAs, even more as everybody knows. So this is actually a pretty cool, this is actually a pretty cool beer. I have a lot of respect for Six Point and and I really like Victory. Uh, I think Gold Monkey was one of my first Belgians um, uh, that I enjoyed. So um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a 96. Like this is pretty solid. I mean, for a distro beer, a distro distro New England, Mm -hmm. sour New England, this is, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I tend to agree with this one again. It's it's it, it, actually I think it's better than Sour Monkey. Oh, yeah, it plays that sure. beautiful kind of like tart realm, and then has a little bit of hazy under it, under it. And the most important thing I think about this beer, that this is nine percent. Yeah, like this is so quaffable. I'm done. And this is this, this is even more <laughs> quaffable than Sour Monkey. Yeah. Uh, the tart acidity is also not like fake and and, and like you know mm-hmm. just like. Vomiting? No, it, it, it's not like, it's not one trick. It it, it, it has okay. a pretty kind of acidity to it. I believe really what I get, it's like beautiful notes of um, tart pear, uh, bichu pear, and then has like ripe, uh, it has like yellow orange, uh, yellow grapefruit in there. It has like mm-hmm. a guava and it, it has this like- It's a much more warm, natural acidity. Yeah, and then I think really the acidity plays into the fruitiness of the, the city offers complexity of fruitiness and that's one of the things i love about sour ipa um i think you know when i got introduced to ipa sorry sour ipa i was like wow this makes so much sense because new england ipas a lot of poor examples are so flabby and generally the beer is actually just flabby in the sense that you know they're creamy sweet you know what why we like fruit because they're acidic and so now you're adding acidity to the beer and you know i love that the acidity plays with that new england ipa and just like offers really again like uh palm fruit uh, citrus fruit, tropical fruit flavors. Yes. It's not a tropical New England IPA bomb, but I think the acidity plays beautifully into that. And for 9%, uh, that four pack of tall boys can get you in a bad, 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 bad place. And I think, I think one of the reasons that it's not like a super fruity thing is because again, it is a double IPA yeah. and I would totally love to see more sour New England style double IPAs because this is, this is, I mean, this is three beers essentially shoved into one it's yes. it's such a bizarre style and i think i think that's one thing that we can definitely credit the craft beer industry you know is just like coming up with these really wild combinations and mm-hmm. you know like sour is one thing new england is one thing you know an ipa is one thing yeah. but this is this is a three in one three things that we both love this is a great beer i think i think you know i think actually yeah this is this is one that i would definitely recommend for someone looking for something just different yeah and the other thing, uh, you, you mentioned three beers in one. Alcohol-wise, it's about two to two and a half right. in one can. And then it's just super dangerous. I mean, it's dumbly uh, uh, drinkable. And it's not overly sour. No. And it's not it, It's not too bitter. It's not it's too nice creamy. Dry. Yeah. It's not overly fruity, but it's fruity right. and refreshing. Ugh. I would drink a 16 ounce of this and probably pass out in the bathroom. I don't know. Probably not one. Actually. You'd probably have like four or nothing four. about it. Like, oh, what? what <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't taste. It doesn't taste. It, does, it does not taste. I like posted that sour monkey is possibly the most dangerous beer out there. This yeah. is even more dangerous. So yeah. gold monkey is dangerous. Sour monkey is more dangerous. This is even more this dangerous. This see, this tastes like a so full side sour. Yeah. Like this. This is not. It's not overly sour and it's not overly creamy. It, yeah. it does not taste like alcohol at all. I had a bachelor party. We drank all hazies, which are quote unquote drinkable, super fruity and fresh. Hated it after a minute. You know, after eight, you know, I mean, I so drink eight sticky. to myself. But they're all just hop, 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 tops. Yeah, this is just has the acidity I mean. like to keep refreshing stick. you. This is so dangerous. And again, uh, my rating was 85, uh, 95. Yours was? I don't remember, but we're going to go with 96. I'm pretty sure it was 96. Yeah, 96. Also, next time, guys, cheers. Later. <laughs>